Hello, my fine feathered friends. This is Songbird, and we're taking a first look at Enshrouded today. Been excited to see what this game is like, and I'm going into it totally blind. I haven't read anybody else's reviews of it. I haven't seen any other videos for it. I will be comparing it to the other open world survival sandbox games I have been playing recently, which are Ark Survival Ascended and Pal World. So I'll be looking at how it's different, things that might be similar, and after playing for an hour or two, I'll give you my opinion as to whether it feels like it has potential or whether I'd rather go back to one of my other games. So let's get started. Let's get going. Okay, so we've got character creation. We've got lots of different presets. That looks pretty nice. Okay, this one's a little older, which I do not mind at all. She looks really good. The way they move seems a little odd to me in the torso here. I'm getting a little bit of Uncanny Valley vibes from the character overall. And it's kind of weird <laughs> when you switch it, the pants and legs stay in just the top changes. Wait, or is this, what is the difference? I think it might, okay, the bangs are different. All right. That's the difference. We've got one with the shaved sides. I actually did my hair like that during the COVID lockdown. Cut my own hair. Kind of cool. It was a pain to grow out, though, afterwards. Uh, let's see. Let's do this one. It just looks like it's a little more brushed back and she's ready for action. And hair color. No purple. I wonder if there's hair dye in game. We've only got natural looking hair colors. <sighs> there's this kind of bluish silver, silvery blue. This isn't bad. I might roll with that. I like the slightly darker roots though. Let's do that. Um, no to the beards. I could have a beard though if I wanted. Uh, no, no option to change the eyebrows, it seems. Okay, voices. Alright, and here we go. New game. Sure, we'll just go with that. Uh, just. Now I'm just gonna leave it. All right, here we go. Long ago, a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people of Embervale. The elixir. It was a cure, a blessing, a weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Elixir and blood, a drop for a drop. But from the depths of the wells, an unforeseen curse crept into Ember Vale. And digging the voice out. The shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. And I love the graphics here. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the flameborn. I like how those graphics now, look painted. Your time has come. Rather than digital. Away. All right, Flameborn. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that's interesting. I haven't woken up in a pod like that in a fantasy game before, only in sci-fi type games. It's not a big play pod. That's interesting. It is kind of interesting also with the character creation, how you don't really have the opportunity 
to change the character's height or build, really. At least I didn't see those options. It's mostly just the face and like the chest that you're changing, essentially. The torso. Hey, I like the movement so far. I'm just kind of trying to familiarize myself with it a little bit. So control is the most of them. Are, it's pretty similar to most other games, it seems like. Attack is the left click. Apparently block or parry is the right, but I must not have that yet. I've got item slots that I can use with numbers. Q, I think, is for a ranged weapon. Shift to sprint. Ooh. <laughs> Idle stance is interesting. All right, Cinder Vault. I'm digging the art so far. Whoa. That's pretty cool. What is this? Commune with the flame. All right, here we go. Construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Okay. Flame a spot for your base. Ooh, well, I, that's pretty cool. You get to get into the building more or less right away. I like building in games. It's one of my favorite things and always has been. Whether it's Minecraft or whether it's Ark or Terraria or whatever, I love building. All right, vast world awaits you filled with secrets in peril. Press I. Okay, so that's I for inventory and navigate to the map to track your discoveries. Okay, M for map. Gotta go that away. Okay, and these are crafts people that I've unlocked. Apparently, I can have up to two active altars and set waypoints. Nice. Oh, I can zoom in. Whoa, the map is big. Dang, that's a big map. Look at that. See, I like a game that rewards exploration. Nice. Porch and bandage. Can I? Oh, oops, E. I can pick those up too. Nice. What's this? This looks like it might be some kind of dungeon or something. What is this? Oh, there's a guy. Well, was a guy. Apparently he waited here for a very long time. Read on the flame and its murmurs. Pure light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed, protects it in a flaming core. Wisdom far beyond my own imagination. I could stare into the fire for hours, seeking answers, a whisper, but I hear none. Despite possessing a voice, it only speaks to those born from the flame. A shame, as I believe we could have quite enlightened conversations. Balthazar. Interesting. How do I get down from here? What would happen if I just jump? It looks like that's kind of what they're telling you to do. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? I die and respawn? Yep. Okay. There is fall damage in this game. <laughs> now we know. All right. We effed around and found out. Uh, let's check out at least i didn't lose my items that's kind of cool all right apparently we're supposed to go around this way what do we got over there oh do we have to go through the mine i guess we do all right well i just thought it was going to be something extra i guess because i've been playing pal world and from there you just go down straight from the starting area pretty much all right this can Counts as sheltered, because I'm in a cave, okay? In here. Use a terraforming tool or explosives to forge a path through the rubble. Explosive powder balls can be thrown. Explosive barrels are detonated at range. Ooh. Nice. Explosives. I like explosives. Let's give them a try, shall we? 
Oh, I didn't mean to throw the, throw the torch at me. Uh, three. Now, let's try it out. Ineffective, huh? Not a very good explosive? Oh, maybe we just needed to do a couple of them. Alright. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> it's kind of funny how she kicks them to open them. Ooh, a hatchet. I'll take that. Thank you. What do we got? This is an ode to Pike Mead, a drinking song from New Lore, Nobles in History. Alrighty then. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep going. Spooky. The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Okay, I've got a second torch, which is good because apparently they do have durability, as I can see now. And the one I'm currently using is down to half. Ooh, that looks creepy as all heck. Some kind of intestinal looking fungus. Yuck. Right, press tab to lock onto your foes. Press control to dodge out of harm's way. Okay. Whoop. All right. Uh, tab to lock on. Well, apparently the torch makes a good weapon. Ooh, search. Loot. All right, shroud spores. Okay, Naturally, these ones aren't all that hard to defeat, but I do like that it has a tutorial, at least. It doesn't leave you to figure out everything on your own like Ark does. But at the same time, it doesn't really, like, hold your hand and guide you every single step of the way. Uh, like... Pal world kind of does, which I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It teaches you how to play the game. Just I, I love a game to be a little bit more open world and not telling me what to do all the time. All right, I unlock the workbench. If you fall, you will rise again. Your last return beacon. Okay, so this is a return beacon. Okay, what's around here? Some kind of camp. Or the remains of one. It is really pretty. Look, there's a beehive. Oh, I can harvest the things. Will the bees get me if I harvest it? Uh, no, apparently not. Apparently they are very agreeable bees. Hey, you can like collect all of the different plants, it seems. some kinds of oh runes okay i thought they were some kind of coin all right i think we got the hang of it just there take a look at what we got around here long key well equipped with a shield or melee weapon press right mouse button to block a well-timed block will parry the attack okay can I pick up the sword? Got a skill point. Ooh. Captain's journal, day one. Hold the chamber to your last breath. These were the words of the Ancient One before he entered with a handful of our best warriors. It was the first time I'd seen one of his kind, and I expect it will be the last. His face is burned in my mind. My life and those of my remaining soldiers are pledged to this sacred duty. <sighs> Since it appears there's some reading to do, I might as well practice my voice acting a bit. I may throw in a random accent here and there, but um, as the mood hits me... Oh, I can sleep in this bed. Nice. If the accents are terrible, just remember that this is fantasy, right? 
so it doesn't have to sound perfect because some of my accents if i attempt them they are absolutely awful can i take any of these weapons no well apparently i dispatched that guy oh now i can loot him okay wand and the bones all right Ooh, got a recipe for a shield. Nothing to loot, apparently. How about this? Can I take this armor? Seems to have all crumbled away into nothing. Pity. I keep seeing motion out of the corner of my eye, and it's just leaves or butterflies. Okay. So let's see how this works then. Press raise up. If I have a shield or melee weapon. Okay, then I can block. Nice. Ooh, it's starting to get a little towards nightfall, apparently. Apparently I've been dithering around for long enough. Oh wow, now it really is dark. Look at that. Do scary things come out in the dark? I guess we shall find out. Interact with campfires to cook food or sit near them with X to become rested in the wilds. Okay. So, X to sit. What do we got here? A good night's rest. Finally, a break from the tedious work. My bones are sore. But the warmth of a fire, a little shelter, and some sleep should allow me to become well rested. Food is getting scarce. I hear they're planning an expedition. Thankfully, I hid some rations below my bed. They will make for a nice meal when cooked over fire. Hint, hint, hint. Apparently. Food logs. Oh, I see something over on the other side of the bed. Oh, I can change positions on the bed. Oh. Is there. Oh, jeez. Well, that's one way to wake you up. And one way to break the bed, I guess. Crowd spores. Okay. And let's try, uh, try that health potion, I guess. I think that's what they want us to do. It is kind of fun that you can break everything. Like in a regular survival game. I keep forgetting that this isn't just an RPG like, you know, Dragon Age or something like that. Because it kind of looks like one. But yeah. Survival game. You're supposed to get all of the things. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> the rebel like grows back. Okay, that's really weird. Alright, now let's go back over to this fire and cook this meat we got. Alright, place food in your action bar, select it, and press left mouse button to cook. Okay, what do we got? Grilled lean meat, okay that's already cooked. Raw lean meat, there we go. Grilled red mushroom, tasty. Okay, and, and then two and cook it. Oh, that's kind of cool. They've got an animation for it. There we go. It's all cooked. Where is... My, do I have like a food bar? I've got two bars up there. I think those are probably like health and stamina. That's what I would guess. Unless they've got some different fantasy equivalent. Oh, weird. What is that? Are you a rabbit? I don't look like a rabbit, but you're... You just look kind of different. Oh, and it's a goat. Hello, goat. I don't suppose you'll want to be my friend. Animal fur. All right. Got a 
wishing well. Water is a great source of vitality. Drink it to enhance your stamina and regenerate it faster. Okay, so do I not have to drink it? It just gives me a buff if I drink it? That's what it seems like it's saying. It's kind of cool how it's... Fungus is taking over. Any weapons for me? Nope. Wow, you can go really fast on those attacks. Normally, I don't like to kill rabbits in games because I actually have pet rabbits. But that did not look like any kind of real world rabbit I have ever seen. Either they meant it to be unique or whoever designed this game hasn't ever really looked <laughs> at a rabbit up close. Alright, we're getting some good stuff here. So it seems they have picked a base site for me. Maybe I'll be able to move later, but this isn't a bad place to start out. Not at all. Sunshine, a nice view. Build a flame altar. How do I do that? Journal. J. Tutorial. Workshops. What is it? Okay, workbench. Glider. Nice. I like gliders. Ooh, there's grappling hooks too. Fun. We're going to be spider manning all over the place before you know it. Hey, the flame. So how do I make the altar? Flame altar will unlock this spot for your base. In your base, you will later be able to craft and build shelter. Craft the flame altar and place it to establish your base. You don't have to place your altar in the plains. You can choose any above shroud area to establish your base. Okay, so I can pick a different spot if I want to. But how do I actually do it? I guess, I guess, I mean, I'm okay with starting here, I guess. It's a decent enough spot. So tab to enter building mode, but directions unclear. Jumped into the fire instead. Okay. Oh, here we go. All discovered ref recipes for this crafting station are saved here. You can quickly navigate different categories by selecting these icons. Here you can find the requirements and ingredients for each recipe. You can pin recipes to get a notification once you've collected enough ingredients to craft the pinned recipe. Flame altar. I need five stone. Okay, let's pin that then and close. Lots of goats around here. At least they have some kind of animations, like they actually run away when you get close. They don't really seem to have the personality that I'm used to, though, with arc creatures. They kind of remind me of the creatures in most games that just kind of exist to be a resource. All right. Anyway, we got enough. Crafting. Space to craft. Okay. Oh, it did the thing. Nice. We don't need that pinned anymore then. Ah. There it is. Okay, let's, I guess, drag it up into our hotbar. Okay, alt to switch. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, I like that it zooms you out so you can see what you're doing. Okay, let's get a little bit of uneven ground in our plane because I do want to test how the building system works with uneven terrain. That's kind of one of my annoyances with Pal World at the moment is that you have to build on flat terrain. All right. There we go. Commune with the flame. You are not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby, just outside of the Shroud's grasp. Alright. I don't know why uh, the Flame Altar has a slightly British accent, but apparently it does. Alright. Upgrade the Altar, extend its building range, strengthen the Flame, gain global benefits, Reset skill points. Wow, they've got an option right here where you can reset your skill points. Nice. 
Okay, so how do I upgrade the altar? I need a shroud core. Don't think we want to do that just yet. And for that, I would need 10 runes. Okay, to strengthen the flame, resin, red mushrooms, bones, shroud liquid, spark, and animal fur. And that would extend my time in the shroud up to six minutes. All right, now how do we build? Journal. Oh, it wants... I can't build just yet. I have to go on this mission to find the sleeping survivor. The world is lost, but not barren. Survivors of the shroud wait to be roused by your inner fire. Find the sleeping survivor marked on your map. You will have to venture through the shroud. All right. Guess that's where we're going. That is off to the left of where I currently am. I don't have any clothes or anything even. Is the person I find gonna like help me with that? I don't even have any recipes yet to make clothes, I don't think. Shields, I have a recipe for a shield. Let's go ahead and make that then. That is nice that it just crafts it instantly. You don't have to sit there waiting for it to craft. Oh, I could make... If I get some string, then I could make a ragged shirt. A wand. I had a wand that I got from somebody. I'll have to look for that. Lock picks. Ooh. Sure. Torch. Got one of those. Pickaxe. Let's make that. Campfire. Oh, I can make string. Okay. Let's craft a couple of those. And then... Oh, and construction hammer. That's what I need to make to be able to build, I think. All right, so maybe I can get a little bit of a start on building before heading out for the ne for this first mission. Um, oh, yeah, let's put the clothes on. Okay, there we go. Looks like the food doesn't have a spoil timer. That's nice. The club up here. Probably shouldn't carry around the explosives. I have learned that the hard way a few times. So alt to switch. Ah, there we go. And put down a fire here. I'm trying to like rotate it. Okay, R to rotate. R plus the mouse wheel can rotate that way too. Or I can make it snap. I don't need it to snap right now though. All right, cool. Uh, okay, let's cook the rest of our raw meat here. Put that here. We can use this bar, I guess, for our consumables, right? Okay. Okay, it cooks pretty fast. Just gotta hold down left click and it cooks. And then let go and it puts it away. Alright. It's cool that it actually shows the the food that's being cooked. Sitting a little close to the fire there, if you ask me. But uh, at least my own campfire doesn't appear like it can hurt me. Doesn't seem like I'm getting hungry. Look at these again in my inventory. Plus two health regeneration. Uh, increases the constitution of the user by a small margin. Enhances energy with power. Increases the intelligence of the user upon consumption greatly. Okay, they make you smarter, I guess. Well, it seems like eating just gives you buffs, but it isn't, strictly speaking, necessary. Did I already eat one? Oh, I did, I guess. Okay, let's, looks like you can eat up to three different things based on the based on the upper left of the screen there. Let's also eat a berry then. Oh, no, the mushroom and the berry both count for the same thing, I guess. All right, let's see if we can find some more stones or whatever it was that we need to be able to make that hammer. I think it was stones. Oh, the workbench, that's what I'm trying to make. Okay, it's string so i need more plant fiber that's what it was okay let's go collect some bushes and things then it's nice that you can collect things while you walk through them since you collect it so fast just making bushes explode every which way i go rocks take a little longer but okay i think it's in here yes 
just need to make the string first. There we go. Things nice and neat. Alright. Now we can do things. Construction hammer. We got it. Okay, we can make blocks. Rough stone blocks. Wood blocks. Tarred wood blocks. So we're only held back by materials. It doesn't look like we have to unlock them at any particular level. Okay, we'll definitely be on the lookout for shroud wood as we go. Metal scraps. Oh, I shouldn't... I, I used the couple I had to make the lock picks. We'll have to be on the lookout for more of those as well. Storage. Tiny chest. Okay. It only takes two stone to make a hundred stone blocks. Wow. That sounds like fun. Plant fiber roof block. Cool. Building scaffolds. Nice. Okay, you can also make fireplace, windows. Alright, and let's let's uh, go to the crafting in my inventory and make some more string. Oh, I need three string for the chest. That's simple enough. Did I get shroud wood over here? Oh, that looks like a wool. I think I can get it with my club. You want to be my friend? Hey, what are you doing there, dog? Nice. Bones. Can I get any shroud wood close by? any shroud ah. Ooh. hello nice there's some more string metal scraps yes that's what we need How long do I have to be out? Okay, I have to be out for at least a little bit while it, it regenerates. Not too long, though. There's a stump that's in the shroud. Will this give me shroud wood? Oh, that's my club, duh. Let's switch to my axe. Doesn't seem like I'm getting them. Like, oh, oh, no, it's just wood logs. Dang it. Oh well. Find some shroud wood eventually. Oh, I see one of those enemies, whatever they're called. Hello. Oh, this one has a shield at least. It takes a little longer. Can get some, wood, some metal scraps. That is really gross looking. What's down here? Something creepy looking. Ooh. Hey, dude, can I have your spear? F. Just the panic and click method seems to be working so far. It, um, as far as all of these goes. Whoa! What happened? Some kind of an effect. Okay, I gotta get out of here. dark. Probably not supposed to be out in the dark. I think I went the wrong way when I came out of the fort. Yeah, none of this ground looks familiar. 
Oh yay, I found a wolf den. Glad the torch appears to work as a weapon, because otherwise I couldn't see what I was doing. That one got a bite in. I really do need to learn to parry. Switch to that other bar and the berries it's supposed to help with healing. Health regen is active. Alright. Ooh, my torch is almost broken. Where am I? Under vault home level one. Oh, I can fast travel there? Sweet. Ooh. Fancy. That's awfully handy that you can teleport home. Oh, what's that over there with the ominous red light? Can I climb? Wow, I can really jump far. Wow. It's like there's blue shroud and there's red shroud. Are they difficult, different difficulty levels or something? Huh. Hey. What are you doing my, by my house? I need to practice my parrying. Would you mind sparring with me a bit? That's quite the hunchback you got, dude. You really should get that looked at. Alright, I'm learning to loot a little faster anyway. What's this light over here? Firefly lamp. Oh, I, I you can catch the fireflies and use them to make a lamp. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's make a chest to put some of our stuff in. Oh, I can craft that. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I can make a bow. Sweet. Yes. No slot available. See, that's why I need to make the box. Where do I... Manual crafting. Oh, workbench. Okay, that's... What's wrong. Okay. I didn't realize you could access your backpack and the workbench and the manual crafting at the same time. It's kind of cool. All right, we got us a little chest. Just put it right here next to the workbench for now. Leave some of this stuff behind. I like the fact that you've kind of got two hotbars. That's pretty cool. I have the hammer of Thor in my hand here, and it's showing me my build boundaries. Tab to enter building mode. Oh, wow. Okay, so more shapes. I can foundation block here. All right, it's cool that you can decide on the height of it. That'll definitely make it more possible to build on uneven terrain. Can I rotate it? Oh, I can use that to go through the different shapes. Nice. Can I hold down R and rotate? No, it is kind of a block-based system in that way then. I've got a square building area, and it won't let me turn the building piece's uh, orientation. Interesting. Okay. I thought I made a hundred of them. I guess not. Probably too high anyway. Okay, so each thing that you build costs a certain amount of these rough stone blocks. Let's make some more of those then. Generic building material. Okay then. Let's make several. And several of these too. At least you craft them really nice and fast. I like that. Try out our new axe. Oh, nice. Seems like it swings faster and does more damage than that one we found before. One thing I like about Pal World, though, is that dropped resources, you can just run over them and it just automatically picks up. Oh, you can dig in the terrain? That reminds me of Seven Days to Die. The fact that you can dig in the terrain like this, and the fact that the build system is actually block-based, reminds me definitely of Seven Days. Okay, is that the individual little blocks? Oh, you can make like that kind of detail? That's pretty cool. 
Okay, now how do I cycle? Oh, I have to get back into build mode. Duh. Let's make some more of these. I'm trying to leave plenty of space open in my little plane here. Cool how they're a little different around the edges than they are in the middle. Okay, apparently I don't have quite enough to make any more. Gotta get some more. Okay, I need to make some stuff out of wood, but I do want to make the foundation out of the stone first, I think. Back into building mode, and let's do at least a 3x3 three three to start with here. Or, I guess, 4x4. Four four. Yeah, this is 4x4. Four four. Alright, and then... Let's see, 8 is the stairs. There's more detailed ones too. You can that mouse mouse scroll wheel. Okay. That is very cool. Okay, how do I switch materials? Oh, okay. That apparently that is control plus the scroll wheel. Alright, switching to wood. Nice beefy thick walls. How do I rotate it? Okay, R to rotate 90 degrees. But yeah, it'll only let me rotate 90 degrees. And see, I'm leaving space for windows. Like a room with a view, what can I say? Okay, three. Okay, these are taller walls. Let's not block the door. It's kind of a combination of block-based and snap points. Because it does seem like it lets you mesh things through each other. It doesn't, it doesn't just force you to only build using blocks. Like, seven days to die, the blocks can look like they're shaped all kinds of different ways. But they each take up the space of one block. And so that can be a little limiting at times, in my opinion. Okay. I have to find a doorway here. Uh, there's a doorway. It looks like it's a little wider, though. Might have to demolish wall here. I have to finish and... Oh, I'm still... I still have it equipped next time. That's pretty cool. Do I, oh, I can just... Just like that. Sweet! Doesn't seem like it's really centered above where the stairs are, though. I guess you have to do the stairs too wide. Control and mouse wheel to switch back to stone. Oh, wow, now they're too wide. Why were they only one wide before? Must have found, like, a small stairs things. Okay, two, 1M, 2M, 4M. Okay, that's the different sizes of things. Got it. So that's the small stairs. We got the start of a nice little house. Now, can I make... It'll block some of the windows, but can I make some wood stairs up to the second floor? Let's try that. Control, mouse wheel. Oh, and I like that it remembers what piece I was using. This might be a little tight in here. I need to make it a little bigger if I'm going to have stairs. Oh, whoa. They're like... Oh, it's because the walls are so thick. In order to be centered in front of one wall they can't be flush with the other wall there the building system does feel pretty intuitive i definitely like that about it Let's see if we can fill in this little gap here with just a little oops uh, undo undo with i think this definitely there's a has a lot of space for creativity in this build system and i like that the building pieces are not super expensive either okay let's try a ceiling here Let's do a smaller one. Oh, and there's pillars too. Nice. Tiny little house. How do you make a door? I don't see a door. Okay, I'm gonna try a little something here. Just curious. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can definitely build some interesting things. And you can build things fully floating. To do like a sky block kind of situation. Okay, that is a fun building system. All right, enough messing around. Okay, we don't have space in the building area. I bet I could use some of those single blocks down there though. Oh, this one's right on the line though, so not that one. I guess, is this one? Close. No, I, I, come on. You, you can do it. There you go. 
I like that it lets you do such fine detail. I don't think I've ever played a game that had a building system that let you do that. Build some extremely detailed things. Definitely looking forward to making some kind of a cool castle in this game. This is going to be a little bit of a wonky house, but you know, it's just for testing out the building system, so I'm sure we'll make a better one later. Try these big walls here. Do number three there. Okay, uh, keep hitting tab instead of alt. Let's go this guy. And number three. Here, I want to do something a little different. Okay. Let's get a doorway. Oops, wrong button again. This guy. It's cool that they also stay mapped to the same keys. So I, I bet once I get used to the building system, you'll be able to build really quickly as well. Because like I'm not constantly having to drag new building pieces into my hotbar and then check and remember which spots I have them mapped to. There's the bigger roof pieces. Let's make like a balcony out here. We could make another set of stairs going down the side here up to the balcony. Yeah, I like that idea. All right, let's try some roof now. Okay, two M roofs. Four M roofs. Let's try the four first. Oh, I like that there's automatically an overhang. Oh, need more. Go get some more plant fibers. We can do that. Let's equip a weapon here in case we need it. Beehive. Definitely gets me feeling that itch to explore, which is one of the things I like about survival games. I definitely would, you know, I want to go over and explore what's in there that I can't quite see because it's enshrouded. some kind of ore. Glintstone. Yeah, it is some kind of ore vein. Glintstones and dirt. I like that you can jump so high. Definitely fun. What was there was something shining over here? Shiny things, shiny things. No, no, don't see anything. Can I mine here? Oh wow, you can really like terraform. That's pretty cool. Another distraction. Distractions are awesome. Can we like clamber up this stuff? No, we can. Okay, I just walk up to the ladder and keep pressing forward and I climb it, it looks like. It's cluttered, it seems like. So what is this? It's like shining. Am I supposed to do something with it? Uh-oh. I got myself into um, trouble here. How do I get out of here? <laughs> How did I manage to get in here in the first place? Now I think the easiest way to get out... Oh wait, never mind. That works. This might be... I bet this is a course meant for you to like test out your grappling hook and stuff when you get it. 
That must be what the metal thing is. Nice. A treacherous chasm. You'll need a grappling hook to cross. I was correct. I'll get around to the mission eventually. Just want to mess around for now. I'm not one for speedrunning games. I want to explore, you know? I'm sure there's people that are already going to be posting videos about how to do the enshrouded final boss fight or whatever. It's like, what's the fun in that? All right. Plant fiber roof bits. Uh, that should be enough. And let's make our stairs. Might need to cover up my hole in the ground here, too. Um, how do I do that? I saw structures that looked like ground. Do I have to make, like, dirt blocks? Stone shingle roof. Oh, okay, that's what the flint is for. Cool. Hmm. I don't see dirt block. Oh, get around to it. I might just put a block in there for now if it becomes an issue. Yeah, I definitely don't need to have the building pieces in my hotbar, though. So that's nice. We have, like, railings or low walls. I could just use the single blocks. Probably speed up some of this building just so you don't have to sit there watching me do it ever so excruciatingly slowly. Oh, you can remove individual ones too. There we go. That is very cool. Somebody was trying to tell me on my Discord about that feature of. Um, the enshrouded building system and I didn't quite get what they meant but they were saying that you could like fix just really small details that were overlapping or something. By the way you can join my discord too. It is linked in the description of the video and would love to have you there. Okay it'll ju I don't have to craft anything it'll just let me place dirt. Okay, that's a boulder. This is just dirt. Okay. Oh, no, I have to press control and scroll wheel. There we go. Now it's dirt. I bet you could make some very fun traps with this. Yeah, because the rain blocks are not limited in the same way. Like, it doesn't seem like you can turn them either. It's just like 90 degrees or whatever, but you can overlap them a lot. Yeah, so rough terrain, not an issue with this game. The overlap. <laughs> oh, it's not going to let me do that because of the overlap. Well, I may end up completely tearing down this entire house and starting over. This was really just to test out the building system. And I am very impressed. Yeah, color me impressed. So my verdict after playing this game for about two and a half hours now, I've played Pal World for about 18 hours and Ark Survival Ascended. I, I'm up to about 400 hours. Ark Survival Evolved. I have about 6,000 hours in that game and comparing the four. I would say that uh, as far as building systems go, this one definitely feels like a combination of the easiest to use and yet still having the most potential to do really interesting and creative things with it. I'm excited to see where it goes from here. It would be nice if they added the ability to rotate your square somewhat and maybe added the ability to make you know triangular structures as well so that you could make hexagons and circles stuff like that that would be cool but even as it stands right now it's very easy and intuitive to use and 
easy to learn at the same time. It doesn't feel like you need a, a college degree to figure it out or anything like that. Lots of scope for creativity though. And compared with that, I mean, Ark Survival Evolved, it, the building system was famously difficult and glitchy, but those of us who really got into the building system for that, once you learn how to work with and him exploit those glitches, you could do all kinds of really interesting things that the developers of the game never dreamed that anyone could or would do. And I have built a lot of stuff like that, and I love building like that. I love the building in Ark Survival Evolved. But yes, it is also maddening at times. The Ark Survival Ascended, the building is not as complex. It is much simpler to learn. I've seen so many new builders, uh, new, you know, videos and screenshots from builders I've never heard of before who have built really cool and amazing things. In a way, it's kind of putting people who made building tutorials, it's kind of putting us a little bit out of business, which I never really went into making a ton of building tutorials. But but yeah, you don't even really need building tutorials in Ark Survival Ascended. The building system is so much better and there's still so much room for creativity in it. The PAL world building system, is still very rudimentary. And that kind of works with the game and the way the game is set up because the pals, their pathing isn't great. And so if you build something complex, they'll get stuck somewhere and yeah, it'll cause problems. So you have to pretty much build fairly simple things. That said, I do have ideas for some more aesthetically pleasing builds to make in PAL worlds, and I'm planning on making some videos on those. But this one, I definitely want to take my time figuring it out and see what I can come up with to make with it, because it just, it really intrigues me. So obviously I haven't played enough of the game yet to, to really judge the gameplay. But as far as what I've seen of the building system, ranking the four, if you're judging on a combination of both easy to use and scope for creativity, I would put this building system first and then Ark Survival Ascended's building system second. Ark Survival Evolved I would put third. It is not the easiest to use but the scope for creativity is massive. So those kind of balance each other out a little bit in my opinion. And then Pal Worlds I would put the building as the last of the four. But that doesn't mean I'm not still totally addicted to Pal Worlds and excited to get back to it. The gameplay for that game is very fun as well. So that's my opinion, but what do you think? Am I way off base here? Have you tried building in these games? Which one is your favorite? And I would love to see pictures too. If you want to pop over my Discord and drop those in the screenshots channel, I would love to see them. And I pretty much always comment on build pictures in there. Let me know if you want me to do an actual playthrough series of this game or if I should just focus on, you know, maybe doing a little bit of building and some PAL world let's play. That's kind of what I've got going on next. And if you watch this all the way to the end, please leave a hammer emoji in the comments. Thanks so much. Have a great day.